Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I just really felt like having a super chilled out painting session. It's been a while since I've had the chance to pick up a paintbrush and I really wasn't in the mood to draw anything so I decided on just playing around with some gouache and doing some landscapes which is extremely not my thing but that's just what I was in the mood for. I decided to pull out my large set of jelly cup gouache just because there are so many colors in this. I wanted to try and keep these landscape studies to under an hour so having a lot of colors to start out with was going to minimize the time that I was going to spend mixing different colors up and really get in that time painting instead. I've actually had some version of this video planned for pretty much nine months now at this point, and it's just never worked out until now, obviously. Last October, we took a family trip out to Alberta, and my original plan was to hopefully do some painting out there. Like, I fully planned on filming an entire video, either just, you know, generally painting from life or some version of that when I was actually there, which is actually why I originally created my travel palette tin that has then since turned into this massive thing, which right now there actually should be some more travel palettes back up in my store, just a small restock. Sorry for the tangent plug, but I know they're constantly selling out and everyone always wants to know when they're back in stock, so right now there should be more and I'm constantly trying to work on having them continuously in stock as best I can. But this video concept was originally why I created that palette because clearly, you know, Alberta has beautiful scenery. We knew that we were going up different mountains and just generally appreciating the scenery. So it was the perfect opportunity to possibly create some beautiful landscape paintings, which all of the pictures that I'm using for reference in this video, I actually took at various points. I think the one that I'm working on right now, I took when we were up Sulphur Mountain. But anyway, I had this grand video idea planned out, which would have been a lot of fun, but there were a few little hiccups that clearly made me not able to create the video. The first one was we were there like a pretty early October and I don't want to say unseasonable coldness, but there was definitely from like the local people, it seems a lot more snow than they were used to at that time of year, which made for beautiful photos. Like we had the full range of weather out there and it made for lovely photos photography, um, but not necessarily great uh, painting outside weather. And I also managed to catch half of the germs at uh, Pearson Airport, so I was sick for half of the time that I was out there as well, which, you know, is typical for little old immunocompromised me, but I really at that point just did not feel like painting whatsoever. Like, the only thing I was surviving on was cold medicine to get me through just just trying to enjoy the various activities we were doing. So since then, I have always planned on making up for the fact that I massively failed at doing any sort of painting of landscapes from that trip, and clearly it hadn't happened until right now. So I decided to pick three fairly mountain heavy reference photos from my group of pictures. I mean, I took hundreds of them, but I do have favorites. So I picked three more unique looking ones that had definite um, more different color schemes between the three of them. This one is a super cool picture I'm pretty sure I took of in from the back of the van that we were driving around. It was a great time. I mean like half of my family went out there so it was a super fun trip um, and I was driving everyone kind of insane that I could take these really cool looking pictures from the back of a van. Um, but yeah, they did turn out awesome and obviously make really great reference photos. 
So I decided to pick three more mountain heavy landscapes to paint because I did want to keep these more as fast studies. I wasn't sure exactly how long I wanted to spend on each one. I just knew that I wanted to have them be a little more rough and a little more expressive. So I decided to just use flat brushes and just play around with the gouache really. So each of these ended up taking me no longer than an hour. It would have been nice if I could have done them faster, but again, I'm really no landscape artist normally. So had I had a bit more practice, I might have been able to pull these off a bit faster, but they were decently large size landscapes. I just split a nine by 12 inch sheet of watercolor paper into three even sections so as you can see just by the scale of my hand and the brush they are a little on the larger side so I think an hour for this size landscape was pretty good. Originally I picked out six photos that I wanted to paint. I had three landscape oriented ones and three portrait oriented ones which I did only get around to doing the landscape oriented ones but I thought it might be cool to have the six become like a miniature sticker pack or something. So if you'd be interested in that, let me know. I can obviously retroactively create these three into a sticker pack just on their own if that's something people are interested in, but I do fully intend on probably also doing the portrait ones because those were definitely some of my favorite photos that I took as well, and they just weren't going to work as nicely if I had tried to translate them into a landscape orientation. I think that's about the only decent commentary that I have for this video, so I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of this painting process with some music. Thank you. 